We've had a number of guys playing playing cricket in Australia and various other sort of southern hemisphere countries. Um, a few have been been here working hard on their on their fitness, and and obviously of late, in the last month, we've we've managed to play some some cricket outdoors. Um, in Abu Dhabi, uh, the, the, the Champion County game against the MCC, a little bit of 2020 cricket. And also since we've been back, we've had uh, five days of cricket with, uh, with some glorious spring weather. Of course, there's time away playing against the MCC out in Abu Dhabi. Season open, if you like, but on, uh, on, on other shores. Pink ball and under lights, all, all a bit different these days. Yeah, it is, and uh, you know it's an experimental uh, one-off game, and that's how we saw it. You know, we, we uh, it was it was good uh, it was it was a good run out for the for the bowlers. Um, I got some good good practice out there, and obviously the batters had all, all had a hit uh, a couple of times around. So uh, you know, it was a, it was a good it was a good game. It was a prestigious occasion, but um, you know, I think the real the real preparations for for what when our you know our season and and the, and the important stuff started when we came back from Abu Dhabi and uh, and had a couple of days practice against Surrey, and then we've just been to Oxford University for three days and uh, I think there's no, no better preparation than, than, than getting some cricket under uh, under your belt in uh, in English climes. And of course of the season as well there are all the different formats of the game so hopefully not too much trouble switching from one to the other although it does, it does cause a, a few teams a few problems. Yeah um, we're used to it you know uh, the 2020 uh, season is, is in the middle of the summer and we know that that's played predominantly on block although I believe we've got one maybe two championship games sandwiched in there somewhere but uh, you know, on, on the whole we, we, we appreciate that, uh, uh, that, that that we have to uh, be able to adjust from the red ball to the white ball and, uh, and this season's no different. And you uh, mentioned earlier have some uh, new faces coming into the squad and, and people leaving as well it's almost like rebuilding a, another team if you like and of course getting that harmony right it's going to be really important during the course of the season. Yeah we have, we've made pretty you know very few changes really and I, th I still feel the, the the squad is very similar to how it was how it was the last couple of seasons but you know we've got uh, we've got the likes of uh, you know Alex Hales, Luke Fletcher, Andy Carter another year old of fine young cricketers who will hopefully uh, have a big part to play in in, in, uh, in the first team this year. Okay well just a, a last quick word on the international scene as, as, as one from yourself uh, England's World Cup where would you uh, where would you put that in the in the, in the, in the ratings? Uh, you know, I think I think they they lost to a to, to a fine side in Sri Lanka in the end, and uh, you know up until then, um, you know things have been a little bit inconsistent, but uh, entertaining nonetheless. Uh, I, I think it's it's hard to dwell on 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 you know maybe the disappointment of the World Cup, given that you know such a fantastic winter in in uh, in. You know, regaining the ashes, or, or sorry, you know, taking the ashes away from Australia. In Australia, I thought that was a, a fantastic effort and the one we should be focusing on. Okay, well, just we'll finish on that note because, I, as any English sort of cricket fan, an ex-player, uh, international player, should I say, you know, it is something that because it is the pinnacle from, from an international, and it gives something all the players something to aspire to from county cricket up to the international scene. Oh, exactly. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think having having Stuart Broad and Graham Swan here and, and here today is obviously a, a great boost. We've got the academy lads uh, practicing uh, only 100 meters away from us, and they've uh, you know they've been rubbing shoulders with Stuart and Graham this morning, um, who are you know, international superstars, and, and we're all very proud to, to have them here in Nottingham. And of course, they bring some experience back to the squad as well to mix with uh, the, the youth of today. Oh, exactly. Yeah, it's 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 very important. That's the case. You know, we've, we've got a reasonably uh, experienced squad as it is, but it, it, it's really good to have some young young cricketers coming through and I think the future for Nottinghamshire in the recent in, 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 in uh, you know forthcoming years is uh, is looking good well on that note uh, we'll finish there but uh, Chris thanks very much for joining us thank, thank you, you. Cheers.